just call the meeting to order at the specific time, that would be great. Excellent. Okay, so meeting is called to order for the Munson Library, 1033, Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. Great. So I don't know that anybody is going to, uh, well, you have to open up for public comment first, I think. <laughs> so we don't have any fun in the audience. No here for public comment. Yeah. So I'm just gonna hit none. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and next is the trustees report. So that would be if anybody has anything to report on which Susan Crutch just did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Sue, do you want to go ahead and read or? Should, should I repeat it or? Um, yeah, just a quick repeat of it. Okay, so Claudia O'Brien, who um, is, is not going to be doing the gardening anymore, um, but the two women that worked with her are willing to um, keep on with helping. I'm not being in charge of it, but they will help. And that's um, Mary Dunn and um, the other woman is Annabelle, and I'm not sure of her last name. Okay. So they won't be in charge, but they'll help? Yeah, they will help. And um, are you volunteering to be in charge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I meant to ask Claudia. Um, I don't know how she pays for the plants. Do you have any idea how she does that? I do not, but that I think is something that would be able to fall underneath out of the trustees funds because it's uh -huh. upkeep and, okay. you know, the gardening. So I can look into that. We have an attendee. I wonder if that's Alex. It is. So he should be moving over or in. Yep. Hi. <laughs> that was like totally different than their first when you first hopped on, right? Like you had yeah. your. <laughs> I appear to Sorry, be it took, it, it, it took, took me a little while. Hi. Yeah, Jen, are you frozen over there? I am. What's going on with that? And it looks, it's a really pretty frozen pr picture of me, I must say. <laughs> Ooh. Um, okay. Alex, how are you? Good? Good. Sorry I'm late, everybody. I, um, I still had it in my calendar for 10 a.m. So, you know, after I got the reminder at 10 a.m., I muted it. And so here I am. Anyway, <laughs> how's everyone doing? How, how are you, Susan? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, Jennifer and Jennifer. <laughs> good, good, good. Can't and yourself? Yeah, you it's, yeah it's, it's getting nice. It's warming up around here. So, um, you know, and where you are too, where we all are. I, I forget, you know, I do so many Zooms. It's, it's, it's hard to forget where everyone is, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, Susan was just telling us that Claudia O'Brien will not be gardening at the Munson this year, but the two women that have been helping her will continue, which leads us, and Sue will take the lead, uh, which leads us to how the plants are paid for. So I will look into that. All right. And, um, and because Mary too would help and bring plants. So I'm not quite sure where those come from either. Yeah. And I Mary has left us too, which is the other thing. Mary maintenance. Yes, who would do the extra upkeep on the on the grounds too. Okay. Um so who who does it who does is there someone that's there more part-time than her or just no one? I, I don't have a good idea read on what's going on there now, so I'll have to check in with facilities director Jeremiah LaPlante, which I will do too. 
Okay. Um, is, is, does that mean like trash and things like that don't get taken care of or is there someone that does that? Mm, of? Somebody has to be do doing that piece. I don't know that we'll get, and you know, there's certain things that will always be done. I'm sure is one is like, you know, the grounds, like the, the lawn will get mowed, the leaves will get raked. Where I'm more concerned with us is that trash will have to be picked up, but we won't have like Mary was really, really good at doing the extra gardening and we just won't have that component mm -hmm. again. All right. I used to see her uh, cutting the lawn, you, you, mowing the lawn. Yeah. So yeah. I'll check in with Jeremiah and I can send an email out to everyone with his responses to these questions. All right. Okay. Um, I way a long time ago, maybe a year ago, um, Someone mentioned that the Friends of the Munson Building provides money for, I believe, towards gardening. I could be wrong, but is there any way to find that out as well, to check in with them? Should I do that? Or I think that's AEF and, and the Orchid Society. Right, so they, they pay us for renting the space because uh -huh. they have the two offices. And so I think that's, ex you know, and the other revenue was the rentals, right? Right. But of all of that, f those funds, I believe, you know, the way it was explained, the reason why we couldn't use the funds that we have for an event was because the, the money that is for the trustees is specifically for the building maintenance and upkeep. And so the grounds to me would include in that, but I have to verify that. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Okay. I'm just shutting it down. Okay. So there is, uh, we need to vote correct on the planting of the, it's a bush, Sue, right? I think, I believe it's a dogwood. Oh, a dog beautiful. beautiful. Okay, a dogwood. And this is um, in honor of Sue Hugis? Yes. And it's it's basically um, some of the, the sort of part-time librarians and, and friends of like the Munson that want to do it. Mm-hmm is my understanding. Right, okay. So someone just needs to make a motion, someone needs to second it, and then the chair needs to say open for discussion. And then if there's no discussion, then you can vote. And then we have to record the votes by Jennifer saying, Alex, how do you vote? Susan, how do you vote? And then okay. respond to her. We never really vote on anything, so I don't know if you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so nervous. <laughs> So who calls the motion? Okay, so so since I'm the chair, I have to say, um, do I call to motion a vote for the? Mm -hmm. You could say I move the motion to allow a dogwood blah blah blah. To allow the planting of a dogwood tree in honor of Sue Hugis. Can I second that? A dog. I just have to record it word mm -hmm. for word. So. I move the motion to plant a dogwood. A dogwood tree in honor of Sue Hugis. And then motion seconded by. Motion Go ahead, seconded. Sue. Oh, uh, I second it. And Alex. No, nope, open for discussion. Nope. Open for discussion. I think um, it's a long. I think it's a lovely idea. <laughs> and uh, so then now you can record votes. Excellent. So we have three votes. So you have to say, uh, Alex, how do you vote? Alex, how do you vote? I vote for. Excellent. I vote for. Three votes for the installation of a dogwood tree. You got to get Susan 
Susan, how do you vote? Four. Excellent. Three Perfect. Votes. Anonymous, uh, unanimously. Approved. <laughs> 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 That's some heavy stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> we should have discussed what color the, the dog was, was going to flower, though. I mean, <laughs> what color flowers? <laughs> What a lovely idea. It really is. It is. And I, and I think she would appreciate it. Yeah. She was not happy when she left. So, oh. yeah. I think she'd appreciate it. Yeah. So, is she, will she be in attendance when they plan it? Um, I don't really know because it was. Apparently, um, our tree person, uh, Snow, I can't think of his first Alan. name, Alan, um, I, I don't know, got, I guess he, he's the one that picked out the spot and the tree, and the tree, and I think he was ready to um, plant it, and um, then I believe it was Sue McCoy who actually has a, a tree that's planted there for her son in memory of her son said no I don't think you can do that we have to get you know permission so I think I'm not sure I assume it hasn't been planted and I'm assuming that Sue will be around when it's done so I don't know perfect all right um Do you guys have anything else? We can just move down the agenda. I think the next thing we're building updates. Again, the only thing I can say is that uh, we're not gonna be able to rent the space out really um, because the North Amherst Library and Jones will be utilizing the space. And so the bottom floor will have staff in it and the, the <coughs> meeting space will have staff in it with computers and the upstairs space will have special collections. So the thought process is that they're gonna to try to utilize as much as the stage and as little as the floor space in the hall because you know, it is also still a legal voting poll mm. location. So. Do, do you have any idea when this is gonna be happening? I don't, which is the part that is a little bit frustrating for folks who want to do something on an, you know, like a one-time event at the Munson, because right. they could have utilized it probably. Um, and so that's, a, I, uh, I don't have a good idea on that. The North Amherst Library at one point was the, the quote, what they had quoted for prices came in at like way above. Yeah, you know, because of shortage, and then there's a, a supply shortage. So, and an employee shortage. So, um, things are taking a little bit longer than anticipated, I believe. Um, and with the collections, I still don't think that we should utilize that floor space. It will extend the library will have extended hours, though, mm -hmm. because it's our substitute. That's the only thing I do know. Hmm. Okay. So that's really all I got right now. Thank you. Yep. Um, yeah. do, you, mm -hmm. do you have more on the agenda or or no? Because no? this is not not about that. But I was just wondering if you could tell us um. When J Jeremiah came in and talked to us, he had a, a things that were going to be happening there. Um, do you know what's what's been done? I know that the new lights were put up. Um, and I think there was some things with the um, heating and cooling, that type of thing. Do you have any idea what, what has actually been done? I don't. But when I check in with Jeremiah to see what's going to happen over there, um in regards to facilities, I can check in with what has been completed. Okay. Yeah, so my agenda, I just had, you know, maintenance that I was then the gardens um, and voting on planting the tree. 
So that was it for for agenda on my end. Have I been talking all this time and I'm muted? What is the last thing you heard me say? That you were going to check in about the uh, what's been done with okay. Jeremiah. So yeah, no, you weren't muted. <laughs> no, I, I was. <laughs> no, but I'm but still okay. frozen, which I think is so weird. I don't know what's happening. Yes. It's all good. Okay. Um, yeah, anything else, Alex and Sue, anything else that you might want to? Yeah, I, I have, I, my, my, my mind keeps ruminating on, on this idea of us someday having this event, this tea, <laughs> this party, this concert. So I would like to just keep breathing a little bit of air into it. Um, I just want to confirm, you know, kind of our, our biggest obstacles right now. Um, and, and, uh, I believe them to be, or the biggest obstacle is, is funding right now for us to be able to, to kind of throw this party. Um, so other than, than that challenge and the transportation challenge, um, does the committee, does the group feel confident or comfortable with us keeping this idea alive and maybe finding a way maybe in late summer, early fall, being able to do something if we find some funding, maybe from a partner, because I may have a partner in mind who, who might be able to provide some funding. It's just the timing would be better for them late summer, early fall to, mm -hmm. to, to quote unquote sponsor a gathering on the common. I'd definitely like to see the idea stay out there and work at it. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a wonderful idea. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Just. I was just going to say, too, that, you know, what we had originally created didn't necessarily require a lot of funding if we brought it back to the very basics where, you know, like if either HPBC or, or White Lion Brewing Company, because they have a catering beer and wine truck right so they can come and set up or hbpc could come and set up so that doesn't cost us anything because that falls on the on them to get the license yeah so um and then having people come out so it's really about the entertainment piece the transportation piece because mm -hmm. how do we get the entertainment paid for um so you know, and honestly, I feel like if we were just going to do it and just have a big cake that we could all possibly chip in and get a nice cake, from, large yeah. cake from Atkins, like that's, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like 10 bucks each, 15 bucks each, right? And so, yeah. um, it, you know, minus the entertainment piece, that's probably the most expensive. Okay. Yeah. So it's not, ma it's not major. Um, okay. Well, maybe at some point, and just to clarify, I mean, maybe at some point um, after I kind of get through a bunch of work-related um, distractions, uh, <laughs> um, maybe I can kind of put my mind back to this. And if we thought maybe, you know, sometime around Labor Day, um, maybe looking at the community calendar and finding a, a, a Saturday therein, we can plan something again. I'd really like to see this get off the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. And um, okay. And uh, you know, the partner I'm thinking of is is actually someone um, who does business right downtown and um, would be motivated to see um, you know a, a di diverse group of people attend this event as well. Um, I wish I could disclose more, but it, it, I can't because of the relation between relationship between the town and and um, and, and this possible sponsor. But um, Jennifer, I think I can 
I don't know. Now I really want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I should probably call you. I, I, can I call you about this? Because honestly, I, like, can I call you about, about this without the There's other no. board? Yeah. There won't be a quorum? Okay. All right. Yeah, because I, cause I, yeah, I, it's only been asked that it's not on public record and that I explore this privately quick uh quick you know shouldn't be a big deal so i'll call you right after we get off this this call then okay, okay. that'd be great that sounds fantastic sorry 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 jennifer and susan <laughs> it's just there's, oh, some, there's always no, some something no worries. You know, i'm just no trying worries. not to step on anyone's toes here so yeah no i get it. yeah i hear you but yeah i you know Something like that in this area in South Amherst is much needed. And I think it'll be fun. It yeah. often gets that area gets where that side gets neglected in an odd way, right? Because mm -hmm. it's just way out of ta the downtown area. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am excited that there are the tables out on the South Common. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. It's and nice. They right? look good. They're they're retro. I love them. <laughs> yeah. And every and now and then someone's sitting at them, yeah, which is yeah. great. Yeah. Really nice. So. It's also yeah. like get a good book and then you can go sit on the common and read it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's true. So, it, well, it, anything else? Can I just have I just just came just thought of this when is there an actual group that's called you know, like friends of the Munson library no no okay because I was going to say maybe they could be involved in it too if there was an actual group <laughs> I if there is I haven't heard of them I just our revenues are really coming from uh the rentals that we do do um and i think that at some point there was uh like any repairs and stuff is coming out of like cdbg money for project-based stuff okay. yeah that was a little bit of a bummer we were all ready to go, right? We were. We were ready to go, especially Alex. He's on fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. It definitely was. <laughs> I love the party. Yeah, so do I. Especially sure. when you can when you can walk home from it, you know? I mean it's just like, you know, just kind of be a little more carefree. So Yes. Totally agree. <laughs> Excellent. Anyway. All right. Um, well, excellent. Thank you for voting on the dogwood tree. I can't wait to see it. Planted. Yeah. I just need you to uh, adjourn at a specific time. Okay. Are we, are we set to adjourn? Nothing I'm else, good. Alex and Sue, that you want to say? No, I'm all set. I'm all set. Okay. Then, Jen, thank you. Meeting adjourned, 1056. Tuesday, May 10th. Okay. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye. Hey. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the day in the week. <laughs> you too. Gorgeous weather. And Enjoy Jennifer, it, Jennifer Moisena, I'm going to call you right now when I hang up. Okay. And Jennifer Vanderleiden? Yes. Uh, it's almost that time. You know, this is pretty that. easy for uh I know, girl. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Uh. I know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'm still like deciding. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You need to know by a certain point, probably, right? Sooner than later. Well, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye, guys.